I've got something very special in front of me. This has been sent all the way from Montreal, Canada, and this contains unique Halo Mega figures that have pretty much never seen the light of day. Like, even researching this video, I could barely scrape any pictures online. I had to screenshot some pictures from an OG YouTuber, Commander Bakara, shout out to him. Pretty much never seen before Halo Mega figures from San Diego Comic Con. If you're not up to speed on the lore, last week I released a video showcasing the Radon Apex 7 diorama. This is the largest Halo Mega diorama in existence. Weighing in at a thousand pounds, this is 89,000 total pieces, measuring 36 feet squared, and it took two master builders 16 weeks to create. And this was all to reveal the Radon Apex 7 Warzone map for Halo 5 Guardians. Mega were the first people to unveil that map to the world at San Diego Comic Con, and they had a fun twist. Red versus blue. Anyone that came to the Mega booth could also purchase the San Diego Comic Con Icons pack, an incredible set. But they could pick a red or a blue Spartan and then decorate the massive diorama to essentially make the biggest battle ever, right? And there were thousands of these pieces. But they all got lost to time. There was barely any coverage on social media. Social media wasn't even that big in 2015, I feel. Now, as the brand ambassador for Mega, it's my job to try and collate and archive a lot of this information to make sure it's not lost to the ages. I reached out to Kevin at Mega and he sent me all of the figures. And there are a couple that I didn't even know existed. It's not even just red and blue Spartans. Let's have a look at these rare Halo collectibles. So without further ado, we're gonna bust this thing open. I have been very excited to see this. And stay tuned to the end to see a diorama with all these figures on it. It actually took a long time to get the scale right. There are also a couple of things that Mega sent me that I'm not allowed to show. I've already removed them out of the box. That's a future video. There are three different kinds of molds here. Oh man. There they are, the red versus blue. So these are reproduced. This is the original files sent to a 3D printer and Kev reproduced them for me, then they're hand painted. So not the originals, but basically, I mean, basically the exact same, just with a different kind of plastic, I would imagine. They look so cute, the red versus blue. And look at the little heroic stance that they have. No weapons, obviously, they're way too small. We're gonna do some size comparison in a minute, but just for a little idea, these are the size of a stud, a single stud. Teeny tiny little Spartan, they're so cute, look at them. Look at it. So obviously big shout out to Mega for sending me these so I could showcase them on the channel. And we got two sets. Unfortunately, apparently because they're 3D printed and because of the plastic used, I can't use these as giveaways. That's not like I'm not authorized to do the that. Two other molds, which like I genuinely could not find any images of these. Like really, I tried uh, in my research when I didn't think I was actually gonna be able to open them on the camera. I wanted them in my research for the Apex 7 diorama. I couldn't. I just couldn't find any. I never knew these existed. Promethean soldiers. Somebody had to model these and I imagine they modeled them in a larger scale and then shrunk them way, way, way down. The detail is still there. Like they honestly look great. You can still see a lot of the details on this guy. Like they've not shied away and you can also tell it's a Mega Bloks figure. You can even see the tiny little guardian design on his back there. Really remarkable. These are not painted. I did see some images that they were painted at the event. I'm not sure if some were red, some were blue. So you could add to the red versus blue diorama, which would make a lot of sense. But then again, the, the Prometheans and the Covenant are kind of uh, against everyone on Firefight, so who knows. This is only something my macro camera could pick up, but you can really see the contour lines on the base of this figure. Like, clearly it is a rough 3D print, but hey, I mean, it really works. These are amazing. Micro Promethean soldiers. I don't even know how many made it out of the event. I know a couple of people that have the Spartans. I don't really know of anyone that has any others, so it's incredible to be able to show these and help with the the archiving of these rare collectibles to the community. This is the one I was really excited about. Covenant Hunters, look at these. They're remarkable. Such a level of detail for something that is only two studs wide. You can see their shield design. These are like less obviously mega. I feel like the Promethean Soldier more than anything does feel like it's actually a Mega Bloks character. Sort of shrunk down, 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 down. These Hunters, they kind of just feel like tabletop figures when tabletop Halo has a big history with fleet comm battles and the fall of Reach and then the new one coming soon Halo Flashpoint maybe these deserve to be on a tabletop board game they remind me of like the original Warhammers that that you had to like add loads to a single base plate to collect an army hunters travel in pairs two hunters there we got some backup boys as well let's just see 
how close this macro lens can get. I love you macro lens. That's why you invest in good cameras, boys. Now here's what you've been waiting for. Blue Spartan here. Here it is compared to a regular <laughs> Megablox figure. There is a massive <laughs> Size difference. Look at him, he's so cute. There was a cancelled Mega Constructs He Man advent calendar, and they were meant to come with micro figures for the figures to hold. That's what I think we're kind of going for here. That's so cute. This is <laughs> the blue Spartan to the red Spartan. Ah, oh, they're so fun. They're so fun. I think the craziest comparison is coming up though. Promethean soldier versus Promethean soldier. Ah, so tiny. Get him in the same kind of positioning. Amazing, amazing. I think he really wants to hold his. Promethean soldier with his Promethean soldier. Oh, he looks so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun. Oh boy. He's <laughs> the size of his head. That's crazy. I can't believe these are official mega figures. The Hunter to top this off. But there's one more comparison that can be made today, and that's to something that is an official Halo product. These were the Halo Universe diecast line, and they came out in about 2011, and they looked like this. So you can see, even then, even then, this thing is so small, and it still dwarfs this little guy. Oh, how much fun is that? So I hope you've enjoyed this video, a showcase of these unreleased SDCC 2015 figures. The only thing left to do is put them on a diorama, um, I actually prepared something in advance here. It took a long time to get the scale right. Uh, I really like what I did with the tiny trees. So we're gonna decorate this, cue the little montage. Shout out to Mega for providing me with these figures, helping with the archiving of this lost collectible. Domain out.